and I am here today with another Vlogmas video for you guys. Today I'm going to be telling you guys 10 of my favorite Christmas movies. So as I'm sure you guys can tell by now, I absolutely love Christmas. I love it. So it goes without saying, I enjoy Christmas movies. So I thought I would film a video telling you guys 10 of my favorite Christmas movies. There are lots. I pretty much like most Christmas movies I see, but there are 10 that I absolutely love and have to watch every year because I love them so much. And now I'll tell you guys what those 10 are. And they are in no particular order because I hate ranking things. These are just 10 of my favorites. And I might throw in a couple of honorable mentions at the end. We shall see. So the first movie is Prancer. This is a movie from 1989 starring Sam Elliott and Cloris Leachman. This movie I absolutely love from my childhood. It is such a great movie. It has to do with this young girl, Jessica, who has lost her mother and and she, she's being raised by her father now and her brother and they live on a farm that's not doing very well and she's obviously you know going through a lot and one day she's walking home from school and the city is putting up their reindeer that they put up every year and one of them falls and she realizes by counting them that it's Prancer and then she starts seeing this deer in the woods nearby and she thinks that it is actually Prancer, Santa's reindeer. And she ends up taking the reindeer home to the farm and trying to care for it because it's it's injured and just some things happen that I don't want to get into because it's a little bit spoiler, spoilery, but it is such a great movie. It is so good. It is so sweet. It sounds kind of cheesy, but I trust me, it's not. Prance, they did come out with the Prancer too, which sucked that that wasn't good, but the first Prancer, the original Prancer, is so good. And it will it'll make you laugh, but just to warn you, you may or may not tear up at the end. Yes, it, it is a little bit tear inducing, but it is a really, really sweet movie. It's a great Christmas movie, and I really recommend it if you haven't seen it. My second favorite Christmas movie is The Year Without a Santa Claus. This is a Rankin and Bass Christmas special from 1974. You guys might know Rankin and Bass Christmas specials from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Frosty Snowman, Little Drummer Boy, all those little stopgap movies. This is another one of theirs, and this one is my absolute favorite. It has to do with Santa it decides one year that he just wants to take a year off because he doesn't think anybody loves Christmas anymore and nobody believes in him. And shenanigans and hijinks ensue, and it's up to Jingle and Jangle and Mrs. Claus to kind of bring the Christmas spirit back to Santa and to get everybody excited for Santa again. And I love this movie so much. The day that I am filming this, actually my coworkers and I watched it during our lunch hour because one of my coworkers hasn't seen it and that is a crime because everybody should watch this one. If only because of the Heat Miser and Cold Miser song number, which is to this day still one of my favorite Rankin and Bass Christmas songs. Next up is everybody's favorite, The Christmas Story, that wonderful 1983 movie with Ralphie and his journey to get his Red Ryder BB gun for Christmas. This movie is a classic. Oh, it is so awesome. I believe TNT plays it for 24 hours every single year. I'm not sure if they're still doing it. They used to, but I love this movie so much. I'm sure you guys are aware of it. If not, it is where that famous leg lamp comes from, and it's just a classic, and it's just, oh, I love it so much. Number four is seriously, this might be one of my favorites on this list. It is The Bishop's Wife. It is a classic black and white Christmas movie starring Cary Grant and Loretta Young from 1947 and David Niven who's in it who is awesome. I absolutely adore this movie. It has to do with this bishop and his wife and the bishop is trying to build a church and he's become a little bit neglectful of his family and as a result of being really super focused on getting his, his church built and raising money for that and other things as his church and his wife and his daughter feel a little bit neglected and he's just struggling with things. And then God sends an angel who is played by Cary Grant and he kind of helps to bring everybody together. It is such a beautiful movie. I love it so much. There's a one particular scene where Cary Grant is decorating the Christmas tree for the family, and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. He does it. It's like a perfect noble, and when it's all finished, it has beautiful tinsel on it and candles, and oh, and the end with his his homily that he says David Niven's character, the bishop. Oh, guys, you have to watch it. If you haven't watched this movie, you need to go and find it because it is such a great Christmas movie. Next up is another classic. It is Christmas in Connecticut starring Barbara Stanwyck. In case you guys can't tell by now, I do in fact love classic movies. Thanks to my mom, who also loves classic movies, introduced me to tons of them. So I'm kind of a classic movie junkie. Anything with Cary Grant, William Powell, David Niven, Jimmy Stewart, Doris Day, all of those old movies are fabulous and I love them. Any 
anyway, moving on, Christmas in Connecticut is next up. It's a 1945 movie with Barbara Stanwyck. It is hilarious, hilarious Christmas movie. Barbara Stanwyck plays like this Martha, she basically writes this for this paper, this magazine, like she's a Martha Stewart type person. So she writes about her house in Connecticut with her husband and her baby and everything's all perfect and she cooks and for her husband and decorates her Christmas all beautifully, except for not really. It's all a lie. She lives in an apartment in New York. She can't cook to save her life. But then one day, the publisher agrees, her editor agrees to allow a soldier coming back from war stay with her in her house in Connecticut. And there's gonna be a whole article about it, interviews with this guy and how he celebrated Christmas with her and her family. So she has to go to this house in Connecticut and put on this whole facade like she is actually the person that she portrays herself as in her magazine column. And it is hilarious. It is such a great movie. So another great one if you guys are looking for a really good classic Christmas movie. Next up is The Muppet Christmas Carol. I loved this movie and I still love it ever since I was a kid. It came out in 1992. I was like five when it came out and I have loved it ever since. It is one of my favorite versions of The Christmas Carol along with the Alistair Sim version. I think that one is from 51, but I could be wrong. That's another good version, but I love The Muppet Christmas Carol. It is hilarious. How can you not love The Muppets? I love the soundtrack in case you can't tell. I've been listening to it and I know all the lyrics and it is amazing. This movie is hilarious. So if you haven't watched The Muppet Christmas Carol, you really need to check it out because it is fantastic. Next up is Elf. Elf starring Will Ferrell. I love this movie. I think it is really a modern classic. I look, never get tired of watching this movie. I find it to be utterly hilarious. Will Ferrell does that innocent character so well and I, I just loved his character in that movie. It was so hilarious. His like innocent, naive, ugh, it was perfect. I love Elf. Elf's a classic. I could really, I watch that movie any time of the year. It's hilarious. Plus it has Zoe Deschanel and I love Zoe Deschanel too and Bob Newhart, who's hilarious, and Ed Asner, James Caan. There's so many good people in this movie, and it's just really sweet. It just makes me, it makes, it warms my heart, people. It warms my heart. Next up is The Santa Claus, that 1994 wonderful Christmas movie starring Tim Allen, where he somehow accidentally becomes Santa Claus because he kind of killed Santa because the guy fell off, because he, Santa fell off the roof, so he becomes the new Santa Claus. I fell in love with this movie when I first saw it. I think I was in first grade when it came out in video, and I've loved it ever since, just like The Muppet Christmas Carol. I remember watching this movie even during the summer and stuff as a kid. That's how much I loved it. I don't actually like the other two movies in the series as well at all, really. I didn't much care for them, but I absolutely loved the first one. It is a really sweet movie, and Tim Allen's hilarious, and again, if you haven't seen this one, then r really, you, you guys, you, you have to watch it. You just do. Next is another classic. It is A Shop Around the Corner with Jimmy Stewart. I love this movie so much. I don't much care for the female lead, Margaret Sullivan, because she's a little bit annoying, but I love the movie itself. If you guys aren't familiar with it, then here's a little interesting tidbit for you. Shop Around the Corner came out in 1940. In 1949, In the Good Old Summertime came out with Judy Garland and Van Johnson, which was a remake of Shop Around the Corner. And in 1998, You've Got Mail came out, which was a remake of those movies as well, told in a modern fashion. So it's kind of the same thing. Basically, Cary Grant is working in this shop in Hungary. Margaret Sullivan's character also works in this shop, and they're both writing letters to their pen pal and they're kind of falling in love but and but in real life they hate each other but they don't know that they're the other person writing the letters it is really really fantastic i absolutely love this movie i love the characters it takes place pretty much 90 percent at christmas time so it's definitely a christmas movie and i don't know i just there's this it's jimmy stewart it's jimmy stewart people and jimmy stewart is fabulous and I don't know. I have a hard time describing why I love these movies. I just do. It just feels so Christmassy to me, and I love the guy that owns the shop. <sighs> I just... Guys, watch it. It's so good. And last but not least is Home Alone. Mm, really, I think we've all seen Home Alone. The movie's hilarious. It stars Macaulay Culkin, who ends up getting left home alone while his family's all out, out for Christmas. Flew away. Flew away to, a, I think it was like a tropical location. The family went on vacation for Christmas. They forgot about poor Kevin. And then these thieves, Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern, are going to try and rob the house. And then he tries to stop them. The movie is absolutely hilarious. It still does not fail to make me laugh. And it is it's priceless. And it takes place 
at Christmas. He's Home Alone at Christmas. It's a great movie, and I actually do like Home Alone 2, Lost in New York as well. I thought it was just as good as the first one. However, all of the subsequent, subsequent ones with completely different actors sucked, and they should never have been made. I'm just going to say it right now, they should never have been made. Mm -mm. Now on to honorable mentions. My honorable mentions are Love Actually. I absolutely love this movie. I love all the actors in it and it is fabulous and nobody can ever tell me otherwise. I also really love White Christmas starring Bing Crosby. The First Christmas Snow, which is another Rankin and Bass Christmas special that is about a blind boy that ends up being raised by nuns and he's never seen snow and it's just, it's just so pretty. It's just such a pretty, lovely, heartwarming tale. So it's another one you guys should check out if you haven't seen it. And I'm sure there are a lot of other ones, but I can't think of them right now. Basically, I like 95% of... Oh, Christmas with the Cranks. That's another one I like that's pretty funny. It's actually based on a John Grisham novel called Skipping Christmas. So there's a little factoid for you guys. All right, guys, those were 10 of my favorite Christmas movies. Let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite Christmas movies of all time are. And I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And until next time, bye!